Hello, my name is Zach Taylor. I'm from Omaha Central High School. <laughs> You'll never find me without a pair of jeans on. The strong denim wear made for a true working man because a sturdy material was easier to repair. At least, that's what Nana said. Before I blew out 13 candles, I hated jeans. Give me khaki, slacks, sweatpants, even short shorts. But never would you catch me in faded blue jeans. My Nana would buy me them every year for Christmas. She wanted me to wear them because according to her, jeans look handsome on you, Zachary. After all, they represented her. Nana taught me how to be a gentleman, to work hard like a man should. At the age of five, that meant pushing a grocery cart, and I was able to hold the door open, you know, as long as I had the handicap button. <laughs> Nana taught me how to laugh. She showed me what music was. Elvis, Sinatra, Louie, and Ella, we listened while we ate breakfast, gave me lessons on finances and women. I didn't understand why I was learning so young until the day Nana coughed up blood. I was six years old when Nana was diagnosed with lung cancer. She asked me to wear the jeans, but I told her no. I don't want to wear the jeans, they scratch my legs. Besides, jeans are like a tumor, not a part of me, just a piece of clothing that irritated me. Except Nana's tumor was cancerous. Mine was benign. But she'll survive. At least, I kept saying it. And I was right, she did survive lung cancer. But the next year was liver cancer. After that was breast cancer. Lung cancer came back, but she kept surviving the cell's ruthless attacks. After beating cancer five different times, my Nana was tired. In my room, I had a stack of jeans that Nana gave me. As the years of cancer broke her down, they grew darker in color. It was November of sixth grade. Nana was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Mom, mother asked me to wear the black jeans, the last pair that Nana gave me. This time I agreed. We were speeding to their house. The sun, the sun was setting. Well, my dad's phone began to ring. I never saw my father cry until the day that my nana died. The black jeans did not scratch anymore. She was in her bed, quietly asleep. Not is isn't gonna wake up this time though. I'll never have her cooking again, watching Law and Order after nine and then waking up at 10. No more Elvis Presley records being played in the background and no more jeans at Christmas. A few days later, I walked up to her casket, a smile on her face, a tear running down mine. I'm wearing the black jeans you gave me, Nana. I know if I have half the strength that she had, I can make it through anything. Because Nana was my mentor. She taught me so much in so little time. Nana was a survivor. She made it through all of life's obstacles. Nana pleaded with me to wear the jeans because they were strong like her.